known for its heavy censorship and repressive rule, may be opening its doors to reform. Recently, the government met with Burma's opposition leader, Da Aung San Suu Kyi, and welcomed U.S. envoy Derek Mitchell for talks in the country. In its latest maneuver, the Burmese government freed over 6,000 prisoners, although only a small percentage of political prisoners were released. Journalists go through great lengths to deliver reports from the country. Journalists are jailed with lengthy sentences if caught defaming the regime. Burma's media is one of the most restricted in the world. The country regulates speech and communication methods. However, in September of 2011, the country lifted banned internet sites such as Voice of America, BBC, and YouTube. Analysts of Burma say that the country seems to want to improve its image with these talks of reform. I'm here at the Heritage Foundation, a think tank based in Washington, D.C., where a panel on Burma-U.S. relations is currently taking place. In the recent weeks, Burma's government has shown signs of easing authoritarian rule. However, critics are hesitant to confirm if these signs mean real, genuine change for the country. I have been skeptical, um, and I share um, uh, much of the skepticism that the two previous speakers uh, uh, expressed. Tom Malinowski of Human Rights Watch is cautious about the outlook of real reform in Burma. He says that there is too much positive rhetoric in the path towards change rather than real action. Uh, enormous expectations have been raised by the Burmese government that all political prisoners would be released. Having raised those expectations, and they've never raised them to this extent before, it would be, I think, seen by everybody as a tremendous setback if the 200 they've released is it. Recently, Burma released 6,000 prisoners, but only 200 of them were political prisoners. Nearly 2,000 political prisoners still languish in Burma's jails. Aung Din of U.S. Campaign for Burma has watched the country closely for years, and he says that there is no real evidence of reform. You know that there are a lot of things happening in Burma very recently, and people are talking about that Obama is now at the crossroad, and then that there's a new government, so-called new government, still dominated by uh, retired generals and backed by the military, is going to do the right things to what the positive direction and so on and so. So, but uh, we know that even though they are, uh, they call them just new government, they are the still same people who run the country and who does run the country over the last 23 years. So we could not able to believe whatever sickness we are seeing from their activities recently. With the latest action from the Burmese government of releasing 6,000 prisoners, people question why only a small percentage freed were political prisoners and why political prisoners continue to languish in the country's jails. Activists say they urge the release of all political prisoners if there is a true call for regime change. Critics of the junta have conveyed caution and doubts on the government's recent actions. But could these gestures by the Burmese government of opening engagement be signs of the government's willingness to reform? Or is the government putting on a good image for the international community? Kaylin, Voice of America, Washington.